Aortic stenosis frequently is a disease associated with aging, and as the American population ages, as we hit the baby boom years, and that population evolves into uh, the elderly lifespan, those patients uh, are going to be increasingly faced with, uh, with the burden of aortic stenosis. Aortic stenosis is a narrowing of your aortic valve that doesn't allow blood to flow normally. Aortic stenosis can affect your quality of life by making it harder to breathe, causing chest discomfort, fatigue, uh, generally just making it harder to do things every day. A transcatheter aortic valve replacement, which is also called a TAVR, is a less invasive way of inserting a new valve into your diseased valve while your heart is still beating. The University of Michigan Frankel Cardiovascular Center is one of the leading centers in the United States for performing the TAVR procedure, particularly on patients who would not qualify for open heart surgery due to their advanced age or frailty. Surgery is a great form of therapy. And so we're not trying to replace surgery. What we're trying to do is augment that with uh, a less invasive procedure that will get us the same results with less of an impact or insult on the patient. If surgery is the best option, that's one thing you have to be reassured is that our surgeons are fantastic, our OWARDs are fantastic, our ICUs and our post-care recovery is fantastic. So I am convinced that you will have a great experience coming here, irrespective of what form of therapy you end up getting in the end. Prior to your first visit at the Frankel Cardiovascular Center, you're going to receive a packet of information in the mail that will include maps, directions, some patient education materials, and a questionnaire that you'll need to fill out and review prior to your first visit. Some of the things you want to make sure that you bring with you for your first consultation is a list of all your current medications. Please bring the packet that you received from the cardiovascular center. Also, bring a list of all of your history of surgeries and any medical diagnoses. When you first arrive at the Frankel Cardiovascular Center, you'll need to have labs drawn. You'll head up to the third floor in the clinic and check in at reception A. Afterwards, you'll head down to reception C to check in for your TAVR clinic visit. The first person you'll see is a medical assistant. They'll take you back to the exam room. They'll do an EKG and take your vital signs. They'll also go through your medication lists and your history of medical diagnoses. Next, you'll meet with a nurse practitioner, and they're going to go over your medical history with you, do a complete physical exam, and ask you about any of your current symptoms. You'll also meet with a physician who will answer any questions that you have, talk about the different options for treating aortic stenosis, including the TAVR procedure, and also the next steps in deciding whether or not you're a TAVR candidate. For your family and friends who are here waiting during your clinic visit, we have a lot of options available. There's the atrium downstairs on the second floor. We have a small cafe, as well as the Mardigian Wellness Center where they could look up patient educational materials. And the building does have Wi-Fi, so that would be available for them as well. While you won't be receiving your procedure today, this comprehensive visit could be the first step towards receiving the right treatment and improving your quality of life. This institution is built on the foundation of collaboration and working with outstanding cardiac surgeons and my colleagues in interventional cardiology, we really hope to change the paradigm of care for patients with severe aortic stenosis and other significant cardiovascular conditions. If patients have aortic valve replacement, the good news is that their prognosis is excellent. Once patients recover from their procedure or their surgery to replace their valve, they um, go back to a normal uh, life expectancy compared to patients of their same age. In addition to that, their quality of life is significantly improved. And so when these patients are brought down to the room for this procedure, they're on oxygen, they're huffing, they're puffing, they're in extreme. And, and you do this procedure on them and uh, you wake them up and you extubate them and they're breathing fine. And, you know, they're happy. They can eat and they can complete sentences and they want to get up and do, move around and do things that they couldn't do before. So it has a tremendous impact. 